The Cardinal State Emergency Management Agency, Katsema, has urged the residents in flood-prone areas to relocate to alternative lands provided by the state government for safety. The agency has taken early measures to mitigate flood impacts, including the silting drainages and conducting sensitization campaigns. Despite predictions and warnings, residents and farmers have refused to relocate, highlighting the importance of cooperation in ensuring safety. Over 200 houses being destroyed yesterday for no reason. For no reason. After all the sensitization, after all the government commitment, after all the investment directly and indirectly, the season will be longer than it used to be. That is to say, we will have more number of this, more number of occurrences within the state as far as rain, rain, rain is concerned. Not to mention the issue of law. Yes, the government will not relent. We will keep agitating. We will keep providing necessary awareness and sensitization to the people. Because His Excellency was so annoyed, too angry this morning, that despite his commitment in making sure that a proper publicity is made to the entire people, that proper procurement is made in order to cater for all forms of um, uh, uh, mitigation and response, why should our people still remain within front areas? Why should our farmers should be insisting that they must farm rice or whatever within where our front areas of that their lives will be in danger. The agency warns residents of extended rainy season, heightened flooding risk, and assures government's commitment to provide relief, food, non-food items, and security to flood victims. If you are a farmer, we are not asking you to completely stop what you are doing, but there are other means. This government has provided a platform where you can apply for a land, and land will be leased out for you to farm. Each and every year there are small talking that you will be fair in order for you to have a peaceful um, farming uh, uh, cycle. Why must we risk our lives in detriment of just going to farm or just living where you think it is your right or something that you must do? I think let's advocate, let's sensitize our people on the effect, negative effect and dangers of living in front, front areas. All the predicted um, uh, front areas where we are expecting or where the pollution identify as a flood area, we did not experience any flooding. Not because there is no high level of water, but because all the drainages have been deserted, have been cleaned properly. I've all witnessed what happened in Sabangai local government, where, of course, the state government part of its uh, preparedness and uh, mitigation method try as much as it could to evacuate some certain number of people from those areas. And as we are talking to you right now, most of them that uh, lose their shelters are now be camped within Sabanga local government secretariat, but another state government where adequate provision of both food and non-food items is um, uh, provided, and adequate security is equally provided by the governor. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.